there's so much disappointment. Like, I'm, I'm not really in shock. I'm just like, are people really going to continue doing this? Are people really going to keep destroying their own communities? And when they destroy their own communities, they keep pointing the finger at everybody else except themselves. But I'm glad. Well, I, I can't say I'm too glad. I'm kind. I'm. I'm a little happy that a few of the elders are calling out their behavior and saying that you're making no point. What you're doing is stupid. You're destroying your own communities. So at least few of the elders came out and addressed that. I'm happy for that. We don't live in some of these states that this is happening. So we need the parents to do their part on their job, and we need the government to pass stricter laws. So people would think twice before they do some stupid shit like this. And I'm sick of it. And people keep saying, Kendall reacts. And me and me and other other YouTubers that call all this type of behavior, you guys are sellouts. Why are you guys talking about this? Why are you guys talking about black people? Are you serious? So you'd rather destroy your community to the ground than us try to save it. Let that make sense in 2023. All right? Let that make sense, guys. So as you guys can see on the screen right here, it says a na na a nationwide. Retail theft losses, 2022, $112 billion. We're not sure how accurate that is. In 2021, $94 billion. You know, you, Do you know how much money that is? That is a lot of money. And people complaining, but um, why they keep sending all the money in um, Ukraine? Why they keep sending all the money to Ukraine? Why? You gotta destroy your own communities. So how you how you want the government to try to help you, but you're not even helping yourself? You are destroying everything they try to build from the ground up. Hey, let's get into let's get into this, man. Hundred and twelve billion. We're uh, three quarters of the way through 2023. You've got to figure that number is bigger, particularly after scenes like what we saw yes. that started last night in Center City, Philly. This is uh, crazy. Yeah, this. Uh, from uh, Center City to North Philadelphia. You cover that a lot, Lawrence, yeah. right? What, what are you saying? I mean, I, I, I think this is happening all across the country. I mean, about a month ago, I was out in front of Whole Foods, and they did the same thing. Uh, we traveled to San Francisco. Yeah. It's been the same thing. Seattle, as we report in New York City. Mm -hmm. Brian, the interesting thing is that all of these companies have these retail planners, and they've been losing money for a while. But in the age of social justice and wokeness, um, a lot of the activists pressured them to keep the stores open, even though they were losing all this money. Mm -hmm. So they decided, they met with the city leaders and say, look, we're going to reinvest into these communities. And now the rubber has meet the road. Right. Um, they're they're in, the black, in the red so much, Brian, that they can't, they can't keep these stores open. And again, they got a new chief here in Philadelphia. Philadelphia, but it doesn't look like it's helping uh, the, the citizens there. Well, what happened last night in Philly, uh, there, there's a backstory to it. Uh, there was a demonstration yesterday uh, for a fellow by the name of Eddie Izazeri, who was shot and killed by Philly cops last month. Yesterday in Philly, a judge yes. dismissed all the charges against the officer who killed him and set off a wave of outrage. Now, yep. according to the acting commissioner down there, he says the supporters had nothing to do with the unrest. He said, quote, what we had was a bunch of criminal opportunists take advantage of a situation uh -huh. and try to destroy our city. It's disgusting, he says, our city can't afford this nonsense. And it happened in exactly the same uh, retail corridors as what happened back in 2020 after George Floyd. So it's unclear how many businesses were hit, but the looters targeted an Apple store, a Lululemon. You saw all the clothes out there littering the sidewalk. A Foot Locker, windows were smashed and merchandise was left on the floor. There's an they Apple. hit some uh, liquor stores and some pharmacies. And some of these stores now have to close because of the crime. It used to be because of COVID. If you drive down First or Second Avenue here in New York, you mm -hmm. see so many businesses that are closed. It really makes you sad. You pass by restaurants that have closed, didn't survive. And now it's the crime. Even Target's closing, what is it, nine different stores, Brian? Yeah. Right, so you have Target closing nine different stores, including one right out here in New York City. The one in Harlem. And, yeah, and people want to say, well, it has a lot to do with people ordering online. Yeah, not really. Uh, it is. Uh, these are smashing grabs. Uh, these are shoplifting. This is lack of force. So you guys can see right there on the screen, Seattle, Portland, Pittsburgh, Oakland, San Francisco, New York City. And it gets even worse. You saw what they did in um in Philadelphia, right? Well, I ain't finished yet. I'm just getting started. So you hear what he just said prior to that, right? All this wokeness, activists, 
prior to the George Floyd situation in 2020. I keep saying that. People keep saying, can they react? People been doing stuff like this before George Floyd. No, they haven't. We all know people have been shoplifting. People have been stealing. That's been happening from since I, before I was even born. But not this brazen when they walk into the store and they take whatever they want and walk right out. Never. When? You tell me when. Not for this long, this period of a time, since 2020. And you guys saw the numbers of the losses. 2020, 2021, 2022. Now we're in 2023 and it's still going on. Where's Black Lives Matter? And you wonder why I keep saying Black Lives Matter? Because Black Lives Matter condone this type of mentality. Do whatever you want. You're not wrong. You're the victim. And people wonder why I go off on them. Why I keep saying this. Why I keep preaching it. Because Black Lives Matter. You saw them all there in 2020. You know how much money they made? Almost $100 million. And they didn't help one black community. Not one. They're not helping you. They're helping you self-destruct and destroy your own self. Destroy your own community. Keep you at the bottom of the pole. There, there's no elevating. This is not helping you elevate your community. This is going to keep you right back down. Because businesses, they keep losing like this. They're going to move the hell out. And you can't blame them. If that was me, I had a business in, that, in those communities. I'm moving the hell out. I'm not staying there. I'm not getting no profit. You're destroying my business. I'm taking losses. No. This is the inability for your own private security that you hire out of your pocket uh, to do actually do their job because they're going to get hit. So CVS has closed 10% uh, of their stores, 900. Wow. Then you got these. Uh, 900. The, yeah. Then you have the uh, Target stores closed in these major cities. And they're not shy about it. You're not protecting the stores. Why am I staying open? Mm -hmm. I don't need this. And you, and you continue to look the other way. The question is, as we saw that Dallas mayor flip, parties yep. uh, and say, listen, I'm going to be a, a Republican. How many, how much more are the retailers, the citizens that work for a living in working class communities going to take before they stand up and speak out? Here's what Target said before making this decision, of course, good stores, we invested heavily in strategies to prevent and stop theft and organize retail crime in our stores. Keep in mind, people are benefiting from this. These seem so organized, That's right. such as adding more security team members, using third party guard services, as it comes out of the budget, and implementing theft deterrent tools across our business despite our efforts. Unfortunately, we continue to face fundamental challenges operating these stores safely and successfully. At Philadelphia businesses, including a fine wine and good spirits shop in the Crescentville section, police arrested two people near Adams Avenue and East Tabor Road after spotting them loading up a car with liquor. The state store was not boarded up. Police say the two thieves were just helping themselves to what was left. Now, all Philadelphia liquor stores, plus one in the suburbs, are under mandatory closure this morning because of the widespread looting that continues. Action News reporter Catherine Scott has been following the story since yesterday morning and joins us live in Center City with the latest developments. Catherine. Matt, and it's unclear when these stores will reopen. They're still assessing the damage. Thankfully, no one was injured. But yesterday, all the state liquor stores in Philadelphia and one in Wincote were closed after 18 fine wine and good spirit stores in Philadelphia were looted Tuesday 18. night. The mayor said social media played a huge uh, role in looting across the city. It accelerates everything. It makes it more difficult for our officers uh, and our intelligence people to track it. Uh, and uh, we had the one, one young lady was live streaming the whole thing. I uh, yep. wound up with 12,000 followers and created, basically incited the riot. Police are now using this video for evidence. 21-year-old Deja Blackwell, known as Meatball on social media, live streaming Tuesday night, broadcasting what stores and what locations to loot. Chaos started in Center City at the Apple Store, Lululemon, and Foot Locker. The looting continued, a caravan of vehicles driving to different locations, and police say Blackwell encouraging people to join in. Businesses were also hit in West Philadelphia and Northeast Philadelphia. Mom and pop stores, pharmacies, state liquor stores. Now at least 52 people have been arrested Three of them. Whoa, hold up. Look at the faces on there. I think I see one white girl and maybe two Spanish. That's it. Look at all the rest of the faces. And you heard what she just said to the mom and pop stores. I told you guys that some clown, a few of them came into my video when I was covering the Walmart and the Giants food store um, closing. <gasps> Kendall reacts. Stores like um, Walmart and Target and stuff. They um they make a big profit and they push out the mom and pop stores. So I can't blame people for um for pushing them back out of the community. So I I come in and I tell them, I'm like, what do you think is gonna happen after the targets 
Walmart's move out. Or if they can't keep continuing to loot from those stores, where do you think they're going to go? They're just randomly going to stop. They're just going to stop looting. They're going to stop shoplifting. They're going to go back to being regular um, citizens, right? Regular civilians. No. They're going to target their mom and pop stores. Right what you got right here. People are that stupid. Anything to condone these type of behaviors. Any type of reason. And I'll explain this. They're straight stupid. I, I really can't understand how people think in this timeline and this era that, that we're in right now. You're destroying your own town. You getting it? If they can't go here, you would take a criminal. You think a thief is going to stop stealing because he can't go to that other store? He's going to go to the next store. If you can't go to that store, you can go to the other store. If you can't go to that store, he's going to keep on continuing. It's like a never-ending cycle that started 2020, summer 2020. Come on, man. Use your head. Stop being stupid. Juveniles, but mostly adults ranging in age. You see Blackwell crying in her mugshot as Blackwell was arraigned. The deep Look at her crying. You just sound like you were crying. You had a lot of energy. Guys, look, guys, they're really happening. It's happening right now, guys. You had a lot of energy. Now you're behind crying. Shut your ass up. You shouldn't be crying. You want to be big and tough? It, it always happens. They all act big and tough, and when the cuffs come on, and they get thrown in that van, and in that cell, they want to start crying. No, don't be crying now. Keep that same energy. And all that energy you had out there, you look like you were a very big girl. Once you used some of that energy, you could have been at the gym. You should have been running somewhere, working out. This is the only thing you could come up with. The only thing. The DA asked for the maximum, just under $1 million bail, but the bail commissioner said $10,000. What? After the district attorney's office appealed, bail was set at $25,000, which she posted overnight. Police say the crimes were not connected to the peaceful protest of the earlier court decision. Neighbors say this behavior hurts everyone. It's just an excuse for them to, to act up. Like, it don't make no sense. They tearing up our, you know, the neighborhoods where we got to shop at, and they got to shop at. So, you know, they make it bad for everybody else. Exactly like my man just said. Exactly like he just said. You got to shop there. Your parents got to shop there. Your family member got to shop there. If you got kids, I don't want to need a, need a job after school. They can't even do that. Because you're destroying the company. They're going to be cutting back. Raising prices. You got to shop there. You got to live there. Dummy. I really don't understand how stupid people are. Imagine coming home from work, right? After a long day or night at work, and you go to stop by the wine, <laughs> to buy a wine, and you're like, what? And you see all this going on. That's going to piss off a regular hardworking man or woman because of idiots like this. That that's destroying stores for no reason. That's like you said. That's for any reason for them to say, act stupid. There's nothing behind what they're doing besides being criminals and thieves. I'm going to keep it 100. I'm going to keep it real. There ain't no sugar coating here today. I'm going to keep it 100. That's what rap music put um promotes, especially in our time. In our time, there's no balance. It's straight degenerate music. Straight. There's no substance behind it. Everything is sex, drugs, violence, shooting, robbing. That's all. That's all. Show me one song that's positive. That's mainstream. That's blowing up. No one. There's nothing, and that's all these teens are falling into. Where the parents at? You heard what he said? There were, there were teens out. Where were the parents at? Nowhere to be found. Making it harder for all the rest of the hardworking citizens and civilians that go by their day-to-day -day life, working, going shopping, spending their money when the paycheck day comes. Can't even do that. Because idiots like you want to be self-centered and entitled. And that wasn't enough, guys. So you know what they decide to do, right? Let's continue. This is just very stupid. I don't know why they keep on doing it. They not accomplishing anything. Shout out to that young man. He's smart. About doing this. You know, but they hurt in their neighborhoods, they hurt in their stores. Free iPhones! Free iPhones! Yeah, Police are now using this video for evidence. People swarming the Center City Apple Store Tuesday night, grabbing phones and tablets and bolting. Police say that voice you hear belongs to 21 year old Deja Blackwell, known as Meatball on social media. Behind meatball. the narration, live streaming the looting, I see why you amassing need to thousands I'm more followers, on. and broadcasting what stores and which locations to loot. Chaos started around 8 p.m. in Center City. The Apple Store, Lululemon, and Foot Locker hit, but it didn't stop there. The looting extending to locations in Northeast Philadelphia and West Philadelphia.
Philadelphia. Mom and pop stores, pharmacies, state liquor stores. Police say a caravan of vehicles drove to different locations, all the while Blackwell broadcasting and encouraging people to follow. Now at least 52 people have been arrested, including Blackwell. You see her crying in her mugshot. She posted bail overnight and is expected back in court next month. Police say the crimes were not connected to the earlier peaceful protest over the earlier court decision. The mayor emphasized that the looters need to be held accountable. Yes, We've they made do. 52 arrests already and, and counting, and um, they're going to have to pay a price. This is not shoplifting. This is, this is looting. This is riot. And the DA uh, and the Justice Department, the uh, courts need to make sure these people pay a price for what they did. Unbelievable, man. This, this is just some ridiculous shit, man. And I, I agree totally with what you said. It's time to be responsible. It's time to put it down. Stop playing around with these um, soft and ass crime laws. No. Unless there's a bigger picture behind this that they ain't telling us. I really, I really don't understand how this, they're allowing these people that's to destroy stores. That's to destroy communities. I shout out to the young man. You guys saw the young man there. He was smart. He was saying the same thing. What is this doing? What is this proving? Even, even the older lady, the elder. What, what is this proving? You're destroying your own area. I really can't comprehend this type of mentality. The store is going to take a hit, but they're going to regroup. Yeah, you, you might lose the store from being in there because they might move. Jack their prices up. I, I really don't get it. And then they dropped the, um, her bail, her bond. It was at $1 million. Then it dropped it to like, what, 25000 What? Are you serious? You know how much money those stores probably lost that night? 25000 And you wonder why they keep doing this type of shit. And you, oh, man, this is that's crazy. And some of these prosecutors, some of the judges, then this need to go. Because they're the ones that condone this type of behavior. This is that's straight ridiculous. No, keep that bail set at one million. Set an example. That's what you got to start doing. Set an example. So they won't take twice. Yo, you catch you out there looting, stealing? Ten years. St st to start. Ten years. I bet you don't start thinking twice. No bail. No bond. Come on, this is that's this is that's retarded at this point. And, and so you gotta blame some of these prosecutors. You gotta blame them. Cause they're condoning this type of behavior, all this woke nonsense. Uh I'm gonna show you guys one little clip before I, I leave. I pretty much everything I need to say throughout the video. And just take a look at the clips. After they did all those stores, they went to Target now. Now look at this. There's no sound to this video though. So look, breaking the glass, pull the window out. So you got putting a lot of work just to be able to do it. Just look at them. Look at them. Look. Just look. Some of them are so brazen. They don't even got a mask on. Where's the mask? There's no mask on. Look. Unbelievable, man. Look at them. Well, so, okay, one or two of them got the mask on. This one got a mask, but it's all the way down here. They already saw your whole face. You, yeah, you're getting caught. Look at her. Yeah, big bag in her hand. Look at the oversized one. <laughs> Look at this. And they're all teens. Look how young they are. They're all teens. You know, they're all turning back. I don't know. They saw somebody. I, I don't know. Look at that. They're all running back. Look, I told you. Face shot. Snapshot. Snapshots. Snapshots. Now, show me the one. I think I saw one white face in there. The one white man. I, I, he might be mixed. Everybody else is black. And they wonder why we get this type of look. And they wonder why they call stereotypes out there. Look at look at the shit that y'all doing, man. And y'all even thinking twice. And these some they are very young. You can look in their faces, they're very young. Where are the parents at? Y'all ain't got school? There's no school? You got nothing to study? This is the only thing you could come with to do. Oh, man, yes. They, they, they got to come with some stricter laws and punishment. If they don't, all, of, all those arrests that they made, it's going to be for nothing. Because it's going to be right back <laughs> prior. They're going to be, they're gonna be right back again with this nonsense. They're going to be right back again with this type of nonsense. You need some type of discipline. You got to be strict, man. You got to be strict in order for them to learn. They got to know that you can't keep doing this type of shit. This is ridiculous, man. We destroy our own selves, our own communities, and then blame others. I I'm only seeing blacks doing it. You might see one or two Spanish here, there, and one white person. That's about it. 
Tell me different in the comments. Where the activists at? Calling out the step. Where are the activists calling out the step of behavior? But activists want to get mad when companies take all this shit up and move right out. They, they get angry. They get upset. But you don't see them out there calling out these criminals. That's what you got to call them. They're criminals and looters. They don't call this out. Where are they calling this out? I don't see that they have a lot of energy when it's a police officer and a black man or a black man and somebody white. They got, they're got out there. They got a lot of energy for that type of stuff, but they ain't got no energy when it comes to this. To having them destroy their own communities. Ah, oh, man, hey, I'd love to hear you guys talk about this in the comments because this shit is just getting ridiculous now. And, people, and that's why I told people, man, when they are done with the major companies, they're going to turn their attention to their mom and pop stores that work their ass off to have what they have. That build it from the ground up. The scratch and claw. To have their own business. That's for your illiterate ass to go in there and destroy everything they built. This shit is crazy, man. Hey, give me you guys take about this in the comments, man. I'd love to hear you guys take about this in the, in the comments. Hopefully something gotta be done soon, very soon, man. So, something gotta something gotta give, man. And until then, I'll catch you guys next video. Peace out. You guys have a blessed day.